before you say anything, Miss, Miss, Miss Opinion, okay, before, <laughs> before you say anything, I tried to fix it, all right? It just won't go up. It won't go up, and it's, it's frustrating me, okay? But why are you frustrated? Yeah, I could look frustrated. Is it because of my hit? No? Is it sexual frustration? No? Oh my god, is it family issues? Well, you know, I'm your best friend, okay? I care. Which is exactly why today, I'm gonna take you family counseling <laughs> with Samir Bhavnani, okay? He's got content that inspires and uplifts. And you know, the greatest thing about it is, it's, it's all about family, okay? It's, it's family friendly. Okay, specifically family friendly. So, you got family problems, let Samir fix them for you. He's got solutions to all your issues. For example, <clears throat> son kills mom for an <laughs> Oculus 2. <laughs> what? I'm sorry. Did you say family friendly? <laughs> Wait. Here's another, you know, very common problem in today's society. Mother electrocutes. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> what? Is this supposed to be content that inspires and uplifts? So basically, you know, the idea of this content is you got to watch the video and then after you'd watch it, you'll know what to do when this situation arises. Okay. We're taking a look at wife beats the <clears throat> out of mother-in-law and my personal favorite this extremely family friendly uh, <laughs> so let me just show you this one real quick um oh my mother-in-law has been in town for two months now to help with the new baby oh hate when moms come to help with the baby she's the worst i could just strangle her you know so why is she so bad you know let's let's see sure Sherman, get your over here! <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, what world are we living in? Did you talk to a mom like that? You know, you know the first thing you're gonna get, you know? It's right across your face. But no, not not in Samir's videos, okay? That's not family friendly. Yes, mother, honey. Oh. Sorry, like, okay, fine. We're not gonna slap, okay? But honey! What kind of, what kind of mother-in-law, like, I'm sorry. Get your ass over. Yes, honey. Okay, whatever, whatever. How many times have I told you when you're done using the coffee machine, turn it off and empty it out. I only like using it for hot water. Yes, sweetie, but. Eh, eh, my kitchen, my rules. Do you understand that? Yes, sweetie, but. I said shut it. Um, I, okay. I swore I should be back to your village. I swore I should be back to your village. I have extra Amazon boxes to put you inside. I'm not kidding. I have no words, so I'm just gonna keep going. My cookies! What happened to my cookies? Well, what happened to them? Um, I, I ate some and threw the rest away. You ate? And threw out my lactation cookies? <laughs> Not lactation cookies. And what, what, what is going on? Do you know how much this cost? Your son is paying for them. Yes, honey. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but just... Uh, Cheryl, oh, you stupid villager. I'm tired of all your nonsense. What is this? <laughs> what is this? Why is there so much yelling? Why is it like we just... Like, <laughs> God, there's no development, you know? It's just... We just straight up started yelling. Like, imagine if all arguments went like this, you know? Hey, John, can you, like, pick me up after work today? Yeah, maybe. I'll keep you up. You always do this! It's a little... <laughs> Unnatural, you know? What is this? Are we gonna keep yelling, though? Is there anything else to get mad about? Where's my lunch? Why is my mouth still not stuck with food? Oh. Just grab the plate and be like <laughs> into her mouth. <laughs> what is this? This is the most unrealistic shit I've ever seen in my life. But it gets funkier, okay? Do you mind? Go away! <laughs> <laughs> I'm very un 
necessary. Like, there's, there's, a, there's nobody out there that's like that, you know? <laughs> Not necessary. Like, that is a little much, you know? Like, that's a little much. Am I right? You think that's much? It just keeps going downhill. It just keeps going down. Every time you think it's over, it just keeps going downhill. Chevelle, what the? Get out of here. <laughs> you just told me to go away. Look, look. This is bland. Your food just keeps getting more and more bland. It's gross. Here. Here, you eat it. Eat it. I've had it with you. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry, honey. It's just that- What's your mouth? It's just what? You better watch yourself. <laughs> what, what is this? What is this? What is that? What am I looking at? <laughs> what are you watching? First of all, what are we learning? Is this supposed to teach me a lesson to like not behave like that? You really think people who behave like that are gonna learn <laughs> watching this video? No, Miss Pam, those don't need a beating. This is bland. What is this? What is that? Oh, what is that? Here, you eat it. B basically, you know, I, I don't want to show you the entire story, okay? I just want to show you my favorite parts. Basically, she wraps it up by saying, you better watch yourself. You better watch yourself. Right? And that's just, you know, you, you thought, you didn't even take that phrase seriously, did you? You just heard and you were like, uh, bad writing. It's not bad writing. It's foreshadowing. It's something you should have learned in English class. It really takes your writing to another level, okay? That's exactly what that phrase was. You better watch yourself! You better watch yourself! Okay? That was foreshadowing, because she did better watch herself. <clears throat> like how did we get here i i don't know we just got here like wife is hiding in the closet for what like <laughs> what uh, please please stop stop please i'll dress around my house stop, whatever please. it's like that's not what i'm right, doing right, stop. Stop. Food. what are you doing Mocha? stop please I I'm I'm embarrassed for everyone right now. <laughs> everyone involved right now. I'm embarrassed for everyone involved right now. That was almost as bad as trash talks. Trish talks. That was Oh my god, that shit was instantaneous. Stop it! Stop it! Please, what are you Magda, doing? stop! Stop! What are you doing, yeah. mother? <laughs> Excuse me? What is that? Stop! Hey! Hey, stop it! What are you doing to my mother? What are you doing? Stop hey. it! Magda! Ten? Oh my goodness, mom, mom, are you okay? Magda, why? Ted, she was abusing me. I had to defend myself. You just said you was helping her, like you were just helping her to bed. So, look, it's a very bad. <laughs> I can't even. Like the the worst part is, you know, you're thinking, okay, what am I? What am I learning? You know, I want to be ins inspire me. You know, that's what you're thinking. You're like, please. Inspire me. You know how Dharma at the end of the video is he reveals the truth from that hidden perspective that you did, you never saw, you know? Samir does the same, all right? But this this is how the argument unfolds. She's just threatening me. Stop the lies, Magda. <laughs> My mother told me you've been abusing her. But when she told me the things you would say to her, I didn't believe her. I didn't... I didn't believe her. <laughs> he said I didn't leave her. No, he said I didn't believe her. I didn't believe her. So? 
I set up cameras in the house. I could not believe what I caught you doing. You've been verbally abusing my mother all day long. <laughs> oh no! So you set up cameras. A lesson, okay? <clears throat> Someone's complaining about somebody hurting them? Set up cameras, because you can't believe nobody in this house, you know? And no, don't worry, they're not gonna know. They're not gonna see that gigantic ass camera in the corner of every room. No, it's not like they live here. <laughs> I can't with that makeup, I'm sorry. So I headed out from work to come talk to you about it? But I wasn't expecting it to go this far! So, so you set me up? This was no setup, Magda! Please, Mama, tell Magda why you did what you did. Okay. Magda, dear, the reason I always used to keep the coffee pot in the morning was because, you know, baby Joey is just like Ted. And the smell of coffee keeps him sleep longer. And, sweetheart, the reason I tossed those cookies away is because they have exact same ingredient as chopper hoist with nothing extra added. In fact, they have a preservative which is carcinogen and that's why it has California Prop 65 label on it. And you know it can spread to baby Joey. I'm sorry, how is it gonna spread to baby Joey? I thought she gave birth. Breast milk. Okay, whatever. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I interrupted the inspiration. <laughs> I know I've been making bland foods for you and the reason for that is because I add some ingredients in them. They help in milk production and they also produce good vitamins for baby joy. Spicy food is not good for me one baby. Please confirm it with your pediatrician. And you know, my mother lives in Chicago, not some village, Magda. Oh my god, Sharmil, mom, I'm so sorry. What does that mean? What, what is it? What, 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 just, <laughs> this is a mess. What do you mean you're so sorry, Miss Ma'am? You just beat up the woman. You go to jail for that. We, you don't. We don't. Want, we don't apologize. What is this? What is this? What kind of? Yeah, before you hit somebody, just know that they're they must have had the reasons to do whatever they did. How about don't hit nobody, bitch? I'm so sorry. Bitch, I'm trying to kill. <laughs> Out. Just straight up strangling her in the bed. You don't just freaking strangle somebody, and then you just five seconds later you're like, I'm so sorry, honey. The reason why I did all this was because I know I've been making bland foods for you, and the reason for that is because I add some ingredients in them. But she was, you, <laughs> she was strangling you. <laughs> all right, whatever. You know what? What I find really creepy are the comments under this video, okay? Stacy St. Ilma says, <clears throat> I feel bad for Sharmal. When she was mistreated by Magda and she gave her a black eye, I'm very shocked to see that. I'm glad that Ted had a footage camera. If I ever had in-laws, I will learn to get along with them and form a bond. <clears throat> so you're telling me. <laughs> <laughs> a real person wrote that comment. <laughs> that's, that's even funnier than the video. No, bitch! Of course not! What the f- They now all have a terrific relationship and recently took a vacation together to the Maldives, where Shamel went missing, but no cause of Magda, supposedly. Before you get upset at them, understand their point of view. This was an example of situations that actually happened. But that's not what today's video is about. No, I've got a, I've got something even better for you, okay? Because today we're gonna look at, you know, a common issue, a common household issue, okay? Disrespectful best friends. That's you. That's you getting it by daddy. <laughs> I'm sorry, pretend I didn't say that. What the actual f*** is this thumbnail? And that's absolutely not probably, this is the creepiest shit I've ever seen in my life. This is probably the creepiest thumbnail on YouTube right now. Um, I'm kind of worried and scared. But anything for you, you know? Amber, I am loving your new accent. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just having fun. Honestly, I'm so glad that you joined our sorority, Emily. I'm so glad you let me join. No problem. I saw huge potential. Speaking about huge, I saw you in a class in a new bra. Oh. Girl, they were looking. If my parents ever found out, they would kill me. So sad. Your parents are so strict, even though you're 19 now. I know. They're so annoying. 
I noticed James checking you out. Are you gonna tell me what you guys spoke about after class? He asked me out. Finally! <laughs> what is the push-up? <coughs> what is the push-up? Was is the what? What? <laughs> I'm sorry, my brain just had a seizure. He started off by saying, Oh, you look so different today. <laughs> <laughs> Boys are such pigs. <laughs> what? Why? <laughs> like we were literally just you were you you had no reason <laughs> to Boys of such pigs. So unwarranted. Okay, I guess. So when is your date? This weekend. Saturday. Ah <laughs> You should flag on him. What? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Okay, are we getting a house tour? What is this? Anyways, I have something more fun to do for us on this weekend. What's that? Scott's older cousin is coming into town and he wants to hang out with us. Wow, how old is he? 54. <laughs> Wow, <laughs> that's almost like my dad's age. Well, this is what you need, a real man. Dad! Oh, hey, sweetie, I was bringing you and Amber some cookies. Hey, sweetie. Hey, Dad. New shorts? Oh. <laughs> Yeah, Amber, let me borrow them. Didn't we talk about this when you were younger? I know, Dad, but I want to fit in. She's like my first cool friend ever. You keep pushing and pushing to get older. You know, you will get older in due time, when the time is right. This Amber, she seems to have different, different beliefs than we do. She's a good girl. She gets good grades. She doesn't do any drugs. Like, come on, why do you hate on all of my friends? No, I've always told you that Boys, they appreciate a girl with a good personality. You could leave a little more to the imagination. Oh man, all right. <clears throat> wait, wait, wait. Okay, all right, I'll change the subject, okay? Uh, what are you doing this weekend? Hmm. Might go on a date with his boy from class. Oh. Hmm. So you're uh, going out with him. What? You know? No, I, I mean, you're, you, you do have a date, that's what I meant, and thank you for letting me know. All right, so basically dad doesn't like the best friend, okay, because she seems like she's kind of ruining his daughter. Daughter has a date with a boy. Might go on a date with his boy from class. And I think dad thinks it's that 54-year-old cousin they were talking about. Wow, how old is he? 54. So you're going out with him. How is this going to escalate to that spanking? That's all I want to know right now. Oh, ready for your big date? Oh. Yeah, I'm not going. Not going, huh? How come? Well, Amber's not answering her phone. We're just going to go on a double date. Oh. Movie date with Pops, huh? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hey, stranger. Come on, are you mad at me? Did you say, I'm mad at me? Are you mad at me? Oh my, this is just bad, okay. Come on. Well, you made me flake on James and then you flaked on me. This dude's cousin just came out and I guess my double does he just wanted to hang out with us. Well, you should have told me. I'm sorry, Emily. I'm not your boyfriend, relax. I love children. I'll make it up to you. I just have to run to my class right now, but I will tell you later about it. Are, weren't you guys going in the same direction? Couldn't you like walk together? <laughs> so bad. So what I wanted to tell you about... Why is dad always eavesdropping? Okay, let's let people live. Okay, well, first, what do you think about or... Or... What? <laughs> that, came, that shit came out of the blue. That shit just whoosh, smacked us, bitch. That shit came out of the blue. What? What did she say? Would you ever be into this type of stuff? 
<laughs> oh my god, no way, Amber. I've never even been with a guy one on one. You haven't? Well, no. I've been kind of wanting to save myself. Oh wow, that's really sweet and stupid. What do you mean? Look, my aunt and my own mother said enjoy it now. Because Mr. Perfect out there is out there baiting his thing around to everyone the best by. Okay. Here's the thing. Scott's cousin, uh, the 50 years old dude, um, he invited us to something interesting at his mansion in Pacific Palisades. Wow, he has a mansion? Uh, yeah, he's some rich YouTuber. Which I haven't been able to say anything <laughs> this entire thing. I just I don't know what to say. It wasn't a normal kind of party. What was it? It's an art. Oh my god. So you went? No, but But what? Well, I didn't want to go with Scott, so I made some excuse was my weak nonsense. But he's been messaging me on Instagram all week. Scott? No, Scott's cousin. Oh. And I want to go, but I don't want to go with Scott. Only because it's isn't it kind of awkward with my... This girl's reading her script and she's really messing up her lines. And now we're all confused. <laughs> I want to go with Scott, so I made some excuse with my weak nonsense. What are you saying? What do you want to say? Shit, like, give me your freaking script. Let me read it. Oh, oh. I get it. <laughs> Yeah, and I don't want to go. So you want me to go? Bingo, Emily. Do I have to do something? Um, that's on you. I'm not sure how it all works. Okay. I'm down. <sighs> uh, okay. I'll call you back. Are you spying on me? Well, yes. As a matter of fact, I heard it all. And you are not going to an old young lady. Oh my god. Dad! <laughs> you know, that's not something you'd, you'd hear, hear your dad, like, call you off about, you know? And you are not going to an old young lady. You are not going to an old young lady. <laughs> but I really want to go, Dad. Damn it. Why are you like this? Let me go to an old You are way too controlling. <laughs> Sorry, isn't that, like, normal? That's not controlling, okay? To tell your kid, hey... You're not going to an orgy. Stop controlling my life. I'm moving out. But Dorf, you can't move out. You don't have any of your own money and you your own space. I'm not going to give you enough space to go in an orgy. Ever. Never. You are not going to an These are not the values your mother and I raised you with. You're not going to an <laughs> Can y'all like stop saying it? You know, just say something. I don't know. You can like figure something else out. Like uh, you just say party. You know, you're not going to a party full of boys. You know, that sounds some, more like something, you know, parents would yell at their kids about. You know, this is like taking it way too far. <laughs> like, calm down. I don't want to talk, Dad. Are you forcing yourself inside? That sounds really creepy. Just, just gotta say, it sounds really creepy. Hey, man, what's going on? Are you Simpson? Yeah, yeah, that's me. How can I help you? I'm uh, Emily's dad. Um, I'm sorry, who? I, I don't have my glasses on right now. From church? Church? You go to church? Uh, uh, well, I'm even more surprised that you don't know who your, your daughter's best friend is, Emily. Amber? She has a best friend? <laughs> yeah, your daughter Amber and my daughter Emily are very close. Okay. I'm surprised you don't know that. You don't know what your daughter Amber's up to, right? I have a little problem with her. What is it? She's been kind of a bad influence on my Emily, and I'd like you to discipline her. What's the problem? Well, she dresses very revealing. Well, I I'm sorry, sir. I don't seem to have those problems with Amber. <laughs> Mr. Smeters? What are you doing here? I came to have a private conversation with your father. Okay. Hey, sweetie. Hey, hi. Dad, don't stay in the way. God, I love her. What seems to be the problem? That. Look at that, right there. Look at that. What do you mean? Well, look at her. Her body is hanging out of her clothing. Her womanhood, right there. 
I'm sorry, what? You don't just walk up to someone and just talk about their daughter like, Excuse me, who are you? Who are you? <laughs> yeah, she, she gets that from her mama. Oh, okay, so I see what the problem is. Then. Hey man, you need to chill. You can't restrict your children that much. Oh. No, that's not, that's not the issue here, okay? <clears throat> that's your child, okay? That's... That's a whole different problem. But you're talking about my kid! Bitch, <laughs> what? Whoa! Whoa, boundaries. Boundaries. Jesus, what is this? You gotta let them be their own creatures. My daughter is not a creature, and I'll be damned if I'm gonna take it parenting advice from you. Man, what do you mean by that? Your daughter invited my daughter to an... <gasps> what do you mean? Or... O-R-D-Y. Are you okay with that? Dude. You gotta relax. She'll be fine, it's her life. <laughs> the amount of flaws in this entire thing is just unbelievable. We believe in liberal values. Liberal values. Sir, are you fine with your daughter going to a or- That's not liberal, that's not a liberal value. You went to Amber's parents' house? Yes, I did, so what? How did you even know where she lives? Well, I followed her. Oh my god, Dad, are you a stalker? Is that so much better? All of a sudden, I'm the bad guy? I did this for your benefit. I had to find out what they were like. He's some sort of a crazy hippie. She's a tart. They're not made like us. Dad, I'm done talking about this. I'm moving out like I said. Well, you're not going to any goddamn norty. I can't deal with this nonsense anymore. Hey, I'm here to help you. Oh, hey. Thank you. <laughs> Jeez, now I can see why I'm moving out. Young lady, I want you out of this house immediately. You are not welcome here. Shut up, old man. <laughs> what you Amber, you can't talk to my dad like that. He needs to hear that. He can't run over you like that. But he's my dad. You know what I'm gonna do. You need to be just. Oh my gosh. This should have been done years ago. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not ready. Oh my god. I am not ready for this. Oh my god. I don't think I'm ready. Oh no. Okay. <clears throat> what are you doing? Stop. Just oh my god. Stop. Right here. Oh right my god. Stop. Right Ouch. Ouch. Oh my god. Stop. What are you doing? You're not going to ruin your own life and Emily's too. Maybe this discipline will help you. I want to be. I want to be more. I learned my lesson. Sorry. Please stop. <laughs> Discipline will help you. I want me. I want. Oh my God! This looks like a really bad. What the actual? What Samir? What the fuck, Samir? What is going on in your head? Oh my God! Jim disciplined Emily's friend Amber that day. Emily was proud of her dad and decided not to move out. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Okay. Um, I think it's time we just stop this shit you know i this is some hmm <clears throat> jesus god what in oh what the f i'm sorry oh my god this is the shittiest thing i've ever seen in my life i'm sorry arrest me samir you know what make a whole skit about me spank me discipline me <laughs> what the actual f was that oh my god jesus i can't believe what i I started this video trying to fix your frustration, and here we are, traumatized. <laughs> I, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know what to say to you! I, <laughs> I'm just so embarrassed, what the f*** is that? Wait, let's look at the comments, okay? Let's look at the comments real quick. I love this video, most especially because it shows sadness and friendship. I liked how her friends mostly had Time for her, mostly, but Emily's dad won't mind his business about how Amelia's dad tr treats her. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? I don't think you, you... You didn't understand the assignment. First of all, who's Amelia? <laughs> we watched the same video. What do we learn from this? Wait, is the father supposed to be the good guy here? Because Jesus, what... Uh, 
I, <laughs> I just I don't even know like what we, what is this? Oh, what was Emily doing? Just standing there watching her friend just like. <laughs> and she was proud. <laughs> she was like, I'm not moving out because Daddy knows how to discipline. That was creepy as shit. This man. Moral of the story, Samir. The moral of the story is you need to stop doing this kind of shit. <laughs> Big news! My baby started her own YouTube channel. Moral of the story is Samir is not a family-friendly, inspiring, uplifting content creator. <laughs> God, what is that? Oh my God, I just, I just had to talk about it. I, just, I, I needed you to see, you know? He makes Trisha talks inspiring well that was <laughs> pretty much it i hope you enjoyed today's video um the um, bestie i you know what i know I, I know what you need you need you need a hug right now come on come on in was that this is nice right this hug it's really nice but would you like me to hug you all the time well how about you get some best friend merch best friend merch hugs you because it's on you. Head over to the merch store, guys. Link in the description box below. I really thought I did something here, but I, I didn't. That was not even a good plugin. But, you know, get your merch, because it's freaking amazing. Announce your best friendness, you know? <laughs> but, guys, I was mentioned today. I would enjoy today's video. If you did, do drop a big thumbs up. Drop a thumbs up, bestie, because this was absolutely traumatizing, you know? And also, are you even subscribed? Bestie, subscribe. The I thought we were besties, you know? Are you embarrassed to be my bestie? And you're, are you embarrassed to be here? Well, you should be, because what the hell did you just watch? <laughs> no, but that was for you guys. Um, yeah, um, love you. <clears throat> I'm gonna go, because I lost my voice. Bye. <laughs>